this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Yoshihiko Uto from Hobby Japan. Thank you for having me. Yes, looking at Dice Age The Hunt. This is a not yet produced version, yes. prototype version of it's a game a that is coming out relatively soon. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. We're going to uh, release it in SN. Okay, mm -hmm. Spiel 2017 in October. I hope you can give an overview of yes. what we are doing here. Uh, this is a family type uh, Dice Age and it's, uh, it should be enjoyable for adults too. Mm -hmm. And basically what you do is you roll dice and you take this credit card and the numbers on there are victory points as well as there are set collection elements to it. Okay. And uh, you roll your die, uh, you roll all the die and you place your, uh, you place your die on the pit numbers. Okay. When you place it, if you have the same number, you have to place all, all of your die. And if you want to place all your die, you can you can go one by one, skip your turn, and when your turn comes back again, then you can roll your die again. Okay. Basically, in these kind of games, you know, you want to go slow by slow, because someone can overtake you, seeing your results. Yes. And uh, actually, uh, basically, it's the number of dice counts. But when the number of the dice are the same, the person who placed last gets to take the prey. Okay. So you want to go slow, but that's not the case in this game because you're going to have four rounds of play and what happens is that the first one to finish the round, uh, to use up, uh, to place all your die, mm -hmm. gets to choose these generation bonus cards. Okay. And this is the key in this game. Now like this one, it's I think it's easy to see you get an extra die. Yes. And if you get an extra die in round one, that's going to be effective to two, three, and four, so that's going to be really important. Okay. Now this one uh, makes Super your... Super size. Yeah, a smaller die into a larger die. Now larger die counts as 1.5 dice, and of course the small die counts as one, so that's also important. Okay. Now there are these three special tiles uh, where you can get from the generation bonus, and these uh, you can use, you can spend to do special moves. Like you can re-roll your dice, you can take two of your dice already set, bring it back to your hand, and re-roll it again. Okay. Or you can choose an opponent's die and re-roll it and put it on that pip. So okay. yeah, these are going to be really important. And also there are some shell cards, shell tiles, which are going to give you random bonus points. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. And you go up to round four. On round four, generation bonus tiles are going to be uh, special bonus tiles, which give you victory points. Okay. At the end of the round, uh, player with the most victory points wins. And round four is really uh, interesting because uh, generation tiles have special bonuses as well as the majority bonus is really important. Right. Like these fruits, they only give you 10 victory points per card, but if you collect the most, it gives you 200 points. Right, and this is how many there are in the game. Yes, so there you are seven. Can plan for that mm -hmm. the whole time. And okay. the whole deck is consisted of 28 cards, so you're gonna use the whole deck. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. So Quick it is. Overview. Yeah, it's a simple, but I think uh, everyone can enjoy. It's pretty strategic, and game uh, ends in around 30 to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So two to four players, they stage the hunt. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much.